Only because I do actually make VODs of this, so I do introduce them all and so forth. Welcome back. Uh, today we are playing Dr. Langeskov, the Tiger and the Terribly Cursed Emerald. A whirlwind heist. A whirlwind heist. Uh, recommended by streamer Dark Twinge, who plays a variety of platformer and strategy games. Um, and I know this is by the author of the Stanley Parable. And beyond that, I don't know what I'm doing. So, oh, hint, and move with WASD and interrupt left click. And that seems more convenient than me using the arrow keys. Uh, during the war, occupying troops installed searchlights on the roof of the mansion. I did have a failed recording of this, so without further ado, let's do. Now this did actually stump me the first time. Um, because this is where you start the game. Um, and perhaps this is the point, well, some point after that original thing. Maybe where it did the initial cut is where things failed. I couldn't tell. But as long as things are looking okay, we'll proceed. Let's see. If I watch my own stream, am I failing on the recording again? Am I failing on the recording again? It sure looks that way. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wait, no. No, I confused myself. This should be okay. Let me try this and not confuse myself. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're good. Everything's okay. Sorry about my confusion. So, my first attempt in this game, I noted we have this thing about Tiger. And um, clearly, it shows that we or somebody in this building are doing research on what this thing called a Tiger is. Um, because, you know, uh, this kind of knowledge is very important, and it's important that you have the right people handling delicate situations. You want to have experts who know everything that you could possibly know about tigers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have world-class experts and animal handlers and such. Um, because I assume that there's an animal. Because, like this says, there's a tiger and a cursed emerald and a heist and all that. Um, I field recording I saw there was also this uh, poster here where there's an image of a tiger. Um, so, you know, based on those two facts, I'm thinking that you know we are the tiger expert here. We know everything there is to know about tigers. Tigers are found um, not just uh, in zoos, but can actually be found in the wild. Um, so I found this little design and I couldn't figure out what to make of it. There's like a T something or other, or TEA is an acronym for something maybe? I'm not sure. 1847, um, there's a ticket, there's some ginger biscuits, and there's a photo of a dog and various utensils and what looks to be a key and a postcard and oh that's an eyedropper huh but what does this all mean there are more tigers in texas than in the wild oh that's interesting i'm sure you're not just making fun with some um uh, university mascot thing, right? Or maybe you are. Maybe there are. Um, anyway, I want a beverage. Maybe if I push these in the right order, I have something good will happen. Um, Swedish Warfare sounds like a cool beverage name. The rest of these I don't know about, but Swedish Warfare sounds cool. Pyramid. How come Pyramid's not, like, a real beverage name? That sounds like an awesome name. I mean, it's the easiest thing to market, too. Assuming that, like, this Illuminati Eye, or what it, the Eye of Horus, I believe it's called, assuming that's not copyrighted or trademarked or something, 
And I'm pretty sure it can't be because it's been around for a few millennia. Um, yeah, I don't know why that's not like nobody's using it. Maybe it's just a bad omen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this the same note we picked up while we were down there? Oh, yeah, it's a sketch. Yeah, never mind. Um, so, Dr. Langeskov, the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald. A whirlwind heist. Uh, apparently with some kind of actor. Wait, what's this say? Still can't quite read that. Oh, are these... No, these are just names. There's no labels. That makes sense. Um, let's see. What else is there here? We are not being paid half enough. Okay. And there's a note here from k.p. saying ignore this dot. Um, couldn't quite ignore it, but let's see. Do I have an inventory system or something? I don't know. Um, gotta say I dig this little pattern. This is a really nice pattern. Um, reminds me of some textiles I've seen before. Oh, I forgot. There's also this clock here. You can't interact with it, but it does tick. So at the beginning we heard there was a director or somebody giving directions saying two minutes and one minute and so... Okay, what? Is there anything in here? Also, can we please recycle this thing over here? I know I couldn't pick it up, but it looks like somebody just left a can right next to the vending machine. Uh, but yeah, this is all a lovely pattern. Um, kind of a stark contrast to this thing up here. So I wonder if we're in the middle of... Hang on. Hang on. That's an interesting perspective. Um, theoretically, one of these could serve as a stage and the other could serve as a viewing area. Um, hmm. I'm putting much too much thought into this, but um, it's a nice aesthetic. A little pipe here kind of ruins it, but... I don't know, like put in a false ceiling like right about there. Um, and yeah, this here could be a stage. Huh. Why am I giving thought to architectural concerns? I don't know. And why are the lights off? And there's no light switch anywhere. How's this supposed to work? Uh, so front of house. This might be a set here. Maybe this entire area um, comes apart or something? I don't know. So, this authorized personnel only. Publicity and liaison's front desk. Please buzz for entry. Come on. What if I just hold it? Okay, fine, we'll buzz for entry. One second, please. Hold, hold the first position. Somebody at the door. Okay. Somebody at the door. Okay, one second. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This is, this is, so this is a bit, um, this is a bit awkward. I think it's probably best if we're just really honest with each other. It sounds like Wheatley. Um, the thing is, the game you just downloaded, somebody is playing it right now, so you can't Okay. That's great. Oh, oh, okay. Loading screens and waiting. Oh, okay. No smoking. Yeah, okay, okay. This is a loading screen of sorts. And also, it's just quite difficult now for you 
trying to leave. That's so meta. This is cool. I mean, I kind of like this game. Wow, you're so apologetic. What's the deal? Emergency should be reported immediately to stage manager. Oh, okay, well somebody's gonna pick up, so that's good. Okay, okay let, let's take a look at uh, this paper here. You experience any issues in vehicular combat? What brand of grappling hook were you using? Do you find difficulty spike during the mansion's chase sequence appropriate? Uh, were there any technical issues? Lights not working, etc. <laughs> There's a flower here. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Too linear, loses its audience. Let's see. Um, hmm. Consequences for not following orders are zero. Oh, okay. No, I mean, we're reading the papers, you know? Um, let's see, there's a uh, audio cassette here, but no audio cassette player. A coffee with a... Um, what's this, a water drop logo? Um, yeah, okay. Oh, you can actually do something with an item in this game. Check that out. Can we arrange the pencils or something? Or how about... That's it. I'm out. Earlier today I received a note on my desk that read as follows. In the event of a fire in or around your office, please try to ignore it and continue as though it weren't there. I'm afraid I am unable to follow these instructions. Or continue to work in this environment. I quit. Also, Logistics Office 17 is on fire. <laughs> Well, that can't be a coincidence now, can it, Juliet? Okay. Uh, yeah. Apparently they're on strike. Ineffable, incomparable autumn on the garden planet. Coming soon. Gotta say, that looks pleasant. I like this artwork. This art style is beautiful. Um, let's see, what else is there to check out while we're here? Is this another feedback report? Grappling hook? Did you find the difficulty spike <laughs> appropriate? Tipping point? Mockery. Acceptable. Hmm. How am I even supposed to read that? Almost. It pisses me off. So there's no difficulty here. It's a tipping point. And then just like difficulty spikes through the roof. Hmm. Were there technical issues? Saw the guard rehearsing the dialogue. <laughs> Immersion deflation. Boo! <laughs> Anything else you'd like to tell us? More car stuff. And then there's like this face there with like... I'm not sure if that's a hair or some like happy hand or something reaching out there, but... That's pretty cool feedback. Let's see, what else is there? I've had enough. I well, we can't even read this one, but maybe if I could get the right contrast here. Oh, here we go. All right, listen up. I don't know why my office has been turned into a shrubbery. I really don't. I'm going to assume it's been some kind of space, space issue. That somebody somewhere ran out of space. I don't need to know that my... We're, I don't need to know why my computer was removed and placed in the corridor where somebody accidentally kicked it. Again, I'm guessing that's a space issue or something. I also don't need to know why we're running out of space so horribly, but I'm going to assume it's because the storage rooms are underwater or something, because that's just par for the course now. Here's what I know. If I can't access my desk because a rhododendron is in the way, I'm done. Really? Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind some good foliage in an office setting. As long as it doesn't inhibit the work. And, I mean, how much foliage would it take to actually inhibit your work? 
guy seems pretty ungrateful. Okay, what's this? BRB? We'll take that. Okay. There is no hope. 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 Hmm. All right. Uh, it's positive feedback. Very constructive. Uh, I like this texture too. This kind of works out. Let's see. What else is there in this room? Strike things. Uh, publicity and liaisons. Not supposed to can get in there. Nope. All right. So. A 20-minute heist game. Oh, is this describing the game that we're trying to play? Or that we should have been trying to play, except it was um, other people were playing it? Honestly, I don't know that I like this kind of game. And that's kind of what turned me off from trying to play this in the first place, because I thought this was going to be this, like... I don't know. But, thankfully, the game seems to have subverted my expectations. Okay, fine. Apparently we can't get backstage. Let's see, do we have more than one button on this thing? Can we do what they do in the Stanley parable? There's no wire. Alright, can we click it this way? Yeah, they should have unplugged the phones. Or cut the wires or something. Here, can I, like, get the button? Oops. You don't say. What's this? Another feedback form? Wow. Alright, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, just let me know. Nah, I I'm good. Let's check that out. How often do you find a game that has like some kind of mansion thing and a skylight? I actually kind of like that. Uh, if you tilt it like this way, you get a really unique perspective that you just don't get in any adventure game. Or you have walls that are going at a 45 degree angle um, on a horizontal, and walls that are on a vertical going at a 45 degree angle, and see so all these kind of weird shapes and angles just overlaying with each other in a way that you don't see in basically any game ever, because it takes forever to render this kind of scene. Um, what was that strange thing we got before? No, I think it was up here? No, it was back here a touch. Yeah, so you see like all the angle all the angles here are oblique to each other. Um meaning we've got from our perspective things don't look forty five degrees. Because we're looking at things on kind of a weird angle. Um, with our head cocked a little bit. Um Again, the reason you don't see this in most modern games is because like um, rendering anything other than a really simple shape takes a lot of processing power and games like Halo and such don't uh, they aren't so focused on creating a world that has really interesting shapes of buildings and such they're interested in creating a game that renders fast and plays well but I think you get interesting angles um, uh, I don't know. This is interesting architectural choice too, because like it doesn't seem evenly supported load-wise. Like this center point here probably takes more load than everything else. Um, so if there's an earthquake, it'll start to tumble in one place and not in a stable way. But okay, I guess we're done with loading screens. Hmm. Buttons? Did somebody say buttons? Oh, okay. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, wait, hang on. Game promised this was a 15 minute adventure, so I'm seeing what I can do about that. Yeah. Guard dialogue. <laughs> Note, do not speak until direct line of sight is established. Hey you, I see you. I thought I heard something. After location check. Must have imagined that. Subject located. It's player name. Remember to provide player information. Okay. Yeah, whatever. So apparently that's what it takes to be a guard. You know. Sometimes just pretend that you just thought you heard something, even though you can plainly see the player. Uh, number one star manager. Let's see, what does this one say? Kevin Patterson. Approved and appreciated. Okay. This is more patrol dialogue. Oh, this is a patrol. <laughs> Leave doors open. Yep, sounds like the job of a patrolman. Alright. Ooh, can we read the book? How great would it be if, like, this in this game, they had the entire contents of the book here? It was like a 100 page manual on 21st century type design. And you can learn about um, type design for the 21st century, just like how type works. So you could learn all about all these block letters and monospace letters and comic sans and stuff. I don't know. Our hope is a boat, and it's sinking. Act 3. Oh, okay. Well, if it's sinking, then everybody gets to swim for free, right? Um, let's see, what does this say? Airbnb something something. Guy. Okay. Art Weekly. I wouldn't mind reading a, a magazine of that. Can only get a glimpse of it from here though. What is uh, GAM? Hmm. Am I reading that right? What is GAME? Okay. That makes more sense. No question mark. What is game? Interview. All right, what else is in this room? We got a bucket of paint. Can we interact with the paint? I like to like touch up the place, you know. It looks like they missed a spot. Kaufman versus Abruzzi. Abruzzi, Abruzzi, I don't know. Return of the Florist Fiends. VR debut. That could be interesting. That's a game I might actually play. I don't know if anybody would watch it, but I would totally play it. Adventure of the Balloonist's Daughter. A grand expedition. How come all expeditions are grand, by the way? Like, can everybody just have, like, an average expedition? A not-so-grand expedition? Okay. Uh, what is game? Alright, and then we got workers... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, I know, you yeah, know, don't worry about it. I'm just curious, you know? I'm not worrying, I'm just curious. Workers against unsafe working conditions. Bah, what's that about? Rights to fair pay, rights to worker safety. Alright, and over here we got devils and details. Ooh, wait, can I read this? Oh. Well... Okay, Langeskov meeting Tuesday. Install new light mixer. Do not export templates. Do not export templates or yeah in CMYK anymore. Uh, weather room extension cords. Revised passage layout. Oh, okay. So you're traveling through an exhibit um, or passages. Uh, and they change the way that these rooms connect to each other. And talk to HR about bird care. Okay. Because, you know, bird care is pretty important. We have a reverse schedule to upkeep. Monday, chorus work. Okay, yeah. I'm not actually going to read all of this, unfortunately. There's a lot to be read, but um, I don't have the attention span for it at the moment. Um... Or rather, I'm not reading it aloud, but I'm just skimming my way through it. Um, 
but yeah, this is the rehearsal schedule. And there really don't seem like a great many people rehearsing at the moment. Um, but the, yeah, this does seem ambitious. And when's the performance? Is the performance like, I would have guessed the weekend, but apparently not because they're still rehearsing um, on Saturday and rehearsing on Sunday. So they just do what they got to do. Depression and the creative mind. Who wrote that? Who wrote this book? Hmm. Marta somebody. That's interesting. I wonder what that's doing here. It seems out of place with everything else, honestly. Oh, I don't want to press that. I mean, I could. Who am I kidding? I want to press it. Press here? Oh. Okay. Well, that was worth doing. Um, let's see. I think that's about it for that room. And then we get to go backstage. I mean, I could. Shock hazard. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one. <laughs> I didn't read it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I didn't read the word unknown because it was so dark there. Fire reaction. Okay, if you discover a fire, if it sounds, stand pat to call the brigade. Call. The, okay. Not a story entirely unfamiliar. Oh, hey, look. Switches. Boop, bop, boop. Let's see. Wait, wait. Caution. Live wire. Keep off. So don't touch the wires. Switches might be okay. Uh, no. I'm sorry. I can't not do that. Sorry if that inconveniences anybody. I have to do it. Alright, fine. We'll switch the lights. Oh! Okay. Nice. Oh, is it? <laughs> Because, you know, you couldn't just fake the tiger. Like, you'd never have a game like Stanley Parable where they would cheap out with, like, cardboard props, you know. That's eh, totally safe. Nothing to worry about. Oh, okay. Yeah, so how's it going? Oh, what lever? Where's the lever? I don't see the lever. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Nice. See? A red button. Let's see. Where would the red button be? Oh, by the door to the weather room. Okay. That sounds good to me. Let's see. Where... Oh, this one. Do not touch container. Okay. Press it again. Oh, good. <laughs> hmm. Oh, am I going to be a guard? Oh. All right. The door's just over there. Okay. Um... Pipe burst? Oh, you don't say. Can I, like, turn this? Okay. Oh, check that out. So there's a button below the fan. Where's the... Oh, here's the fan. Thunder and lightning, eh? That seems safe. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, perfect. Orangery? Who's got an orangery? 
All right. Wait. Is there anything else to check out while we're here? High concept miscellaneous interactions. Well, fine. Okay, okay. Area of rescue assistance. Very nice. I'm seeing how this place, uh, how they shuffled everything around a bit. Oh, this is down here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I get how it works. Nice front. Oh, nice. We're in a lift. That sounds safe. <laughs> oh wait, are we the player? Are we the player here? Okay. Yep, got it. Yeah, I'll pull it here just any second, you know, I'm just curious. Just curious like how much we can tick you off this time. Who isn't? You're breaking my heart. Uh well fine. We'll just stand here while the lift calls, falls down and crushes us. You know? I <laughs> hope they didn't hear us. Yeah. That's all good. Oh. Alright, fine. Since there's nothing else in this lovely, lovely room. Oh wait, that's the weather control. He's talking about some other stairs. Stairs over here. There's key storage. Wait, key storage? Who puts their keys inside a storage unit? That seems like the opposite of what uh, keys are meant for. I like this lift. It's very aesthetic. High pressure. I like this. This is a nice touch. It's just a fan that's blowing these dust particles gently in your direction and casting this beautiful, beautiful perspective over here. Like, I approve. I wonder what this game would have been had it um, become like a full heist game and such. In any event, this... Oh wait, can I interact with this thing? Oh nice. That's really cool. And we got a Steam achievement for that, so that's cool too. 16 pitches, and that was the one they chose. Okay. It's a game about writing, or a story about writing. Ineffable, incomparable, and that gets cut off. Seems like somebody in the marketing department's not pleased. If I had to guess. Oh, oh my God. check that out. Ankles? Let me check. Where did I put my ankles? Okay. Oh, right? Le okay, I'm good. Yeah, never mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Eh, whatever. We'll be fine. This game would never kill us. We have plot armor. Oh, nice. This is nice. I approve. Where's the pot? I mean, um... <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. We're the expert. Oh, there's a phone. There's a phone. 
Hmm, the number four. Okay, the number four. Got it. There's the number four. Or is it going to be this year number four, eh? Okay, we can't ac access those either. Power up vault. Um, <laughs> he's describing what a four is. <laughs> yeah. It's the L with the short line through the bottom bit. It's it's a four. Got it. Key boxes. All right. Engage a lot. Okay, so they got some electronic symbol on the right, which is just a battery and a resistor. Like, if you were to hook up a battery directly to a resistor, depending on the strength of the battery and the um, uh, the resistance of the resistor, that could end up creating a fire right there. Just saying. Not that I've ever done that, no sir. Certainly didn't do that in the last few weeks. I mean, okay, anyway. Um, let's see. And then we've got on the left... Key boxes, hold fifth. Hmm. Arm the lasers. And then the bottom, we got some other kind of circuit uh, with switches and a heat sink and a plug. And I have no idea what that bottom circuit's supposed to represent, but okay. As long as we stay safe and we power the lasers and arm the lasers, that's good. Got it. I'll check this out. Player. Huh. Lasers, no clip. Wait, what? Does anybody actually, any administrator of a game server, actually monitor things in this way? I heavily approve of this particular way of monitoring a game. Let's see. How do I best get a screenshot of this? Um, okay, and then let me just tap my mic over gently so I can screenshot this. Uh, let's get this to look a little bit different. There we go. That'll work. We'll save that screenshot for later. Um, I might use that as a loading screen at some point. Okay, Wednesday meeting notes. Uh, let's see. I couldn't read that. I tried to pick it up to read it and that failed too. Oh, this is a cool phone. Or at least I like the color. I definitely approve, and it matches the mug. Speaking of which, can we read the mug? Uh, no, but it's probably the same thing as what we've seen elsewhere. Alright, so he's telling us to push the 4, right? And he told us that more than once, so I'm thinking we should push the 8. <laughs> yeah, they definitely like that word. Three. Okay. Uh. Oh, nice. Okay, so what we did there, it turns out, was the wrong thing. Really? Um, I don't know that I can do that. Oh, nice. Boom. <laughs> I can't believe he still trusts me. Oh, fine. 363. Hmm. To help with what? The go something. The go. They play the game of Go. Is that what this is about? The go guys? I don't know. Ah, uh, fine. We'll pick up your phone. Oops. I dropped it. Sorry. I, I dropped it. I told you, man. Number nine. Oh, nine. Got it. Nine? Wait, right, is this nine? Uh, I don't know, man. It'd be cool to have one of these, actually. Um, you can... Just think of all the fun things you could do with this kind of keypad. 
<laughs> yeah, just, that's what I thought. Not much. All right, there it is. Six. Okay, six. Ignore that. Seven. Two. Okay, whatever. You want me to pick it? Okay, fine. Okay, wait, it's this phone, right? Anxious? I'm the one playing the game. Why should I be anxious? Oops. I dropped it again. What? What's the phone? And what's, like, that rotary thing on the... Okay. Two, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a very bad alarm. Oh. To a 180. Okay, 180. Got it. I want to move right now. I don't know. I mean, we still got an 8 button here to press all day. Alright. Only because there's not... Oh, this is cool. I like this. This is a nice perspective. Um. Oh, this is the progress of the emerald. Check that out. All right. <laughs> it's not there. It's in the vault. It's guarded. It can be all these things all at once. No, I need it. There we go. That's better. All right. All right. So what else is there to this game other than pushing buttons on a phone and listening listening to the ravings of a British man? Oh, good. Back up the stairs? Well, fine. I don't have a run button, do I? No. Seven and four, then asterisk. A fire? Why would there be a fire? Wait, asterisk. Yeah, you don't think rooms are supposed... Wait. What rooms are supposed to be on fire? Wait, is that this one? Alright. All right, can I push the... Oh, never mind. Oops. You want to let the tiger out of the cage? I thought we already did that. It's just that our tiger was pretty docile. Just decided not to move. Oh, we can fix this. Alright. Downpour. You mean this one? Mm-hmm. Uh, the left or the right of the keypad? So definitely not for. Um. All right, fine. Nice. GG. Oh, now. Oh, I see. It says downpour now. D O W N P O U R. Hmm. Can I interact with the phone again? I think we're stuck there. I wonder, can I. Oh, I can't leave. Oh, come on. You don't trust me? Oh, come on. That trope. That trip was funny the other time it was used in the other game. It's still pretty funny. But, come on. Yeah, we totally did it. We're completely safe. Oh, must I? Must I go back down the stairs? Wait, why would I want to forget about this? This seemed really cool. What's causing it to downpour anyhow? Where's this all come from? How does this work? How do? Well, I guess we're not going to find out anytime soon. Bummer. Alright, I guess we'll have to come down until the game tells us we can't go down any further. It's not subverting expectations just yet. Thank you so much. You really helped out. 
I know. I know. I'm the greatest helper ever. Oh, can I not, like, get to pyrotechnics? Because that'd be cool. Oh, it's still raining. Here we are again. So, this is how it's going to work. You go in there, give me a moment, I will bring the lights up, and Dr. Langston, the tiger, the terribly cursed emerald. Oh, check it out. We could go in there. Oh, don't tell me you're getting cold feet now. Oh, I see. This is the same room as we saw the other time. All right. Cool. Nice. I approve. So is this the demo, or is this uh, the game proper? <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, don't, don't, don't pull that. Ah! Oh, God. Nice. Perfect. Oh, is that it? Do, 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 do. Do 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 I can't believe somebody was asking the other day which is better, the 5th symphony or the 7th symphony. Um, and here we are listening to the 7th symphony. I mean, clearly that answers the question better than anybody else ever could. Um, let's see. Well, we've got start game, options, and quit to cross, 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 cross. And quit. I'm curious. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Hang on. It actually did a thing. Just didn't do exactly what I expected. Okay. An apology in level form. The new and improved crows, crows, crows. Dot com. Dot com. Welcome, please. We are a Berlin-based studio working on unique experimental video games. Sign up for our mailing list to hear about projects and secrets. Take a look at our games. If you want to award winning and according to some people out there, even entertaining. Oh, I misread that completely. Take a look at our games if you want to award-winning, and according to some people out there, even entertaining. Um, okay. That's a game. New Accounting Plus. PlayStation PSVR. Dr. Langeskov, The Tiger and the Terribly Cursed Emerald, A Whirlwind Heist. For PC and Mac. The Temple of No. Uh, Eat the Revolution. Accounting Legacy... <laughs> Okay. I have the sense that some of this might have been made by an accountant. Hmm. All right. Also, report A.807. Statistics. Hmm. Okay. Let's stay friends. Yeah, so, apparently, Crows, Crows, Crows um, is an entity that makes cool games. An apology in level form is their newest submission to our wonderful players, fans, and community. It's finally time for us to address some of the accusations you've been hearing about. It took us a bit too long, and we know that, but now, we've, now that we've worked our way through what happened, we are ready to apologize. We owe our subscribers everything, and that includes the truth, the rumors you've heard, that we've been involved in harvesting tadpoles are unfortunately part of that truth. 
Three years ago, we were approached by Redacted Name from Sheeply Drink Corporation. They offered us funding for multiple games with the condition that we include on-brand subliminal Sheeply advertising in them. They also insisted that we legitimize the deal with the midnight harvesting of thousands of tadpoles from our local pond. Uh, we'd like to earnestly promise you that we did not know what the tadpoles would be used for, but the truth is some of us knew and were complicit. Others were entirely innocent. We expect our ongoing internal accountability process to continue to account for the break, freaky breakdown in communication. We are totes getting to the bottom of it, yo. The truth is, our sheep leader drink representative repeatedly communicated to us that the beverage was made from tadpole juice. We just didn't want to hear it. It just didn't profit us to hear it. We drank, we smoked cigarettes, we tainted our games with corporate promotion, we damaged our creative integrity, we supported the destruction of countless ecosystems, we tried to have a frog killed. And we did this all in the service of profits we mercilessly called from Sheeply Drink Corporation. We reached rock bottom in a Berlin nightclub, a handful of pills, a mouthful of cash, and not a thought given to the tadpoles that were sacrificed so we could keep releasing free games. Pre-nominee 2018 Apology Award. Getting pre-nominated for the Apology Awards 2K18 made us feel really sorry, but not almost half as sorry as for we are not for uh, not apologizing sooner. So we want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to say that we are sorry and learn from our actions and to cement this apology into reality we are very proud to announce. Okay. Sorry I missed when you said you have to go shovel snow. Um, do enjoy the snow shoveling. Um, yeah, so there's a whole new level for Accounting Plus here. The Water Park Update. Um, man, these guys have a way of announcing things. I can't read all this. It's Oh. <laughs> crows, Crows, Crows has got a Discord, guys. I'm going to join this madness. Um... Yeah, I'll have to do that later, but I am going to join that madness and see what's going on here. Um, click here to unsubscribe instantly. You've signed up for this. Well, yeah, Cross 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 seems to be pretty cool. Um, wasn't what I was expecting. I had no idea what I was expecting, but we have successfully endured. Dr. Langeskov, the tiger, and a terribly cursed emerald, a whirlwind heist. Not to say that we know, like, anything about the doctor, the tiger, or the emerald. Um, it's still pretty cool. Um, it's directed by William Pugh from the Stanley Parable. So, um, at the risk of going full meta, I think, um, we've covered everything at this point. Uh, I'll add some kind of review to Steam, just explaining like all these cool things that we observed during the game, and possibly did not observe? Question mark? I don't remember half the things that are shown in the screenshots. Um, like this, I don't remember that. Or this. Well, okay, um, maybe I just didn't play it right. Maybe if I play it differently, we'll see something different happen. But yeah, well done, Crows, 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 developer and publisher um, of Accounting and of Dr. Lengiskov, the Tiger and the Terribly Cursed Emerald. So, hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.